What's up guys, this is Damien again with Hosh Online and today we're going to do a video of some of my favorite apps for Android. These are the things that no matter what device I get or um, pick up, these are the apps that I make sure I first download to every single device. And they kind of vary, you know, and I'm going to skip over some of the apps that are kind of given, such as uh, Gmail and Google+. Plus. Those are apps really that, you know, the, they kind of come already pre-installed in devices. And if you root, sometimes they take uh, some of the Google+, Plus, uh, the Google, oh, I'm sorry, the Google apps out of there, you know, and you add them back. But those are pretty much a given that anyone would have on their uh, device especially if you're a hardcore Android user so that's what today's video is going to be some of my favorite apps for uh, for my devices the apps that I always make sure to have on every device and we're going to skip games this time because I'm going to do a separate post on some of the games that I like the most uh, so you know look for another video for that okay guys so we're gonna dig right into this and my, the first app that I always make sure to download is Dolphin Browser HD. Google Chrome is great, but sometimes Google Chrome can fall a little short and it can seem like it's a beta product. And Dolphin Browser HD, to me, it's like the mobile Firefox. Firefox always works on desktop. Unfortunately, it doesn't always work as well on mobile. So I use Dolphin Browser whenever I have a problem with Chrome. So it's one of the first apps that I download for every device that I get Dolphin Browser HD uh, it just works really I mean it's as simple as that it just works I highly recommend that you guys uh, download that there's a lot of few features you can go full screen they have the Dolphin sonar where you can just uh, use voice inputs in order to be able to do a couple of cool things so you know that that's Dolphin Browser HD I definitely make sure that um, I download that whenever I get a new device or uh, switching from ROM to ROM it's one of the first things that I look for on my device second app that I always make sure to download and I, I featured this on uh, my apps that all routers and uh, Android hackers should have is Goo Manager. Goo Manager not only allows you to flash uh, ROMs but it also allows you to flash your recovery so if you want the newest version of twerp uh, all you need is Google manager and it'll flash it for you um, and also on some ROMs they don't come with the uh, power menu where it will let you reboot into recovery Google manager will allow you to do that straight from the app with uh, it's got a bunch of cool features guys uh, I, I highly recommend that you download that app also the next app that I make sure that I have on my device is box.net now box.net is my favorite you, you a lot of people like Dropbox but I like the fact that box.net without any other subscriptions or anything it just out of the gate gives you 50 gigabytes of, uh, of, of storage free you don't have to do anything for it. just sign up and you get 50 gigs and with 50 gigs you can do a lot you can put whole applications I, I use it to back up some of my YouTube videos there's a a lot of features in box.net that I think make it a better choice uh, if you're a big data user uh, for Android the, over Dropbox another app that I make sure I have on my device is News 360 I read a lot about technology and in order to be able to keep up to date and uh, stay ahead of the curve on uh, my tech news I, I use a lot of news aggregators uh, news 360 it helps me to find a lot of uh, different articles on things maybe I wouldn't have searched for on my own uh, a lot of sources that I might not visit on my own but it, it can be sometimes not as in-depth as you need because some of the sources that they they get their articles from like you know Wall Street Journal or the New York New York Times while they're good they're not for me at least I, I find them lacking a little bit when it comes to their their tech knowledge so you know it's good for 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 some things but it's not the end-all uh, be-all of uh, news aggregators it's it, it, as far as tech is concerned it, it's a little bit better if you read a lot of political or uh, world news and it, it's pretty good uh, but I just it, it's kind of a jack-of-all-trades and master of none but it, it's a very good app it's definitely well designed now for a more focused search especially in tech I use Feedly now Feedly is a Google Reader uh, it, it kinda pair, it pairs with your Google Reader but you can also set up your own uh, feeds that you want to go in there so 
I, I love Feedly because these are the sites that I go to. And so instead of going from site to site to site, which I'll still do, I can set, you know, as you can see, Android tech and tech and fashion. I, 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 any little weird, <laughs> weird uh, taste that I might have for uh, reading, I can set my own things up and, and, and have a beautiful uh, display. I, I really prefer it over f uh, Flipboard which you know a lot of people prefer flipboard but i prefer feedly i think it looks a lot more beautiful and the feeds they're they're the feeds that i want to see on to the next app that i always make sure i have on my android device root explorer root explorer is a file explorer for your android device whether it be tablet or phone it lets you explore all the files that you have on your phone it's especially good if you're hacking your android phone these this is where you can uh have access to the things that you've downloaded the ROMs that you have and um, what I find it mostly good for is when storage gets low and you you're looking for that app like why am I why is my storage so low you can find what files eating up your your memory on uh, root explorer next app that I make sure I have on my device is a uh, you know we all love Twitter why well, I, I love Twitter at least is uh, and my my Twitter uh, client that I use is plume um, I've tried a lot of the Twitter cl clients uh, uh, tripping over my words, but I prefer Plume to all of the other uh, Twitter clients. Tweet lanes, um, there's a lot of good Twitter clients, but Plume offers more features, the ab ability to log in to multiple accounts. Uh, it, it just, for me, it's a lot more intuitive than a lot of the other Twitter clients, and I love the user interface. Up next, we have Glimmer. Glimmer is a new app. Uh, I actually discovered this on XDA Developer. Uh, it, it's for Flickr. I love Instagram, but I really admire beautiful photography. And you still can't beat Flickr when it comes to real. I, I, I know a lot of people are going to kill me on that, but real photography. Uh, Glimmer, and I should say Flickr. Flickr has just a more professional base than uh Instagram. Uh, it, it's a beautiful layout. It, it kind of is very similar to uh, Instagram. And I know a lot of people like the uh, actual Flickr app, and it's pretty good. But I think that Glimmer is a lot more, a lot more simple. And, and sometimes simple, simpler is better. Uh, you can like, uh, you can go full screen, and it's just a, a great user interface. Being able to slide from picture to picture, comment, favorite, you know, all the things that you would want to do. And last but not least is Evernote. I love Evernote. Evernote is, it's my savior when it comes to being productive. I make all kinds of lists. Uh, I take ph photographs, like say uh, an, an example is, I'm looking for a new home. Uh, I've just moved recently back to uh, the Midwest and I'm looking for a new home. I can take pictures of the different houses and mark the address and, and and it saves it to the cloud and it's available immediately on all my devices and there's just so many powerful features it lets you do audio notes uh task list you can tag your uh your items so that you can search search them more easy and i love the fact that from the desktop if you do a Google search, uh, say from your computer, that uh, it brings up uh, your your Evernote uh, list. So, say I'm looking for a receipt for a product I just bought. If I type the tag in Google, it'll bring up in uh, my Evernote list, and I'll be able to have access to it. Lovely, lovely, lovely app. So, guys, I know I kind of sped through <laughs> this uh, selection of of my favorite apps, but I, I mean, apps are so great. I have so many apps. I could this video could have been an hour long and I, I, I want to save you guys for, from boredom because I, I just love so many apps um, so I kind of condensed it down and sped through the process so you can you guys can just get a hold of some of the things I feel like they're they're great apps for me I, I for the things that I do but I think that those are pretty much some of the apps that you know pretty much anyone can benefit from you guys also today we're going to be giving away the $25 gift card to the Google Play Store in the contest if you haven't done that go ahead and leave a comment and follow Hosh online on Twitter and so you can get entered into that contest uh, we're going to pick a winner by the end of the day midnight tonight we will have a winner and we will send you your gift card code so that you can go and purchase all the apps that you want to want to have guys if you like this video please go ahead and give me a thumbs up i really do appreciate you guys support uh 
there'll be another video pretty soon um, I will see you guys next video this has been my list of some of my favorite apps for Android this has been Damien with Hosh Online I will see you guys next video peace